All right, YouTube. Tonight we're going to play some Death Shadow. <laughs> this is a lot different than the lists that I have been playing, but I've been working with some friends. And this is kind of what we're coming down to. Uh, some, some changes in the list. We cut the Seer and Visions and decided to play Sleight of Hand because, you know, Modern's so fast right now that we don't have time to, like, draw a random card and then scry. We're like, whatever we want, we wanted it yesterday. So, Seer and Vision, Sleight of Hand is just a better version of that. You get the choice, you get to see two cards, and then you get to pick the one you want. To make room for that, we had to cut a Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage is just a little slow at the moment. The format is really fast. Really fast, non-interactive. Snapcaster Mage is busted when the format is slow. And uh, very interactive. But that's just not modern right now. Um, the rest of the main deck's pretty, pretty, pretty normal. Like, you got the, the pushes, the looting, the bolt, the dismembers, your eight threats, yada, yada, yada. Four CMC. One, maybe one day. Sideboard is mostly the same, except we have kind of spiced it up. Uh, we decided to start playing Rise Fall because there are so many decks in the format with such low land counts that the, the right side of it can be him, and the left side of it is just like a really good tempo play, like bounce a creature, bring a Death Shadow back, play a Death Shadow for three mana, to just kind of like help speed the format, speed us up a little bit. Yeah, we are preparing for him repent. Yeah, that'll be that'll be the day. Um, besides that, I just decided tonight to play one Nihil Spellbomb because I play so many graveyard decks on Moto that I just want one. I want a fourth graveyard effect that's different than Surgical Extraction. Four graveyard effects is a lot, so that's why I just pick Spellbomb because it cycles. This card might not be that good, but it might not be like right to have. But we're just gonna try it out tonight. Um, cut a Brutality for the third Snapcaster Mage because now that we have like four different ways to recur creatures and or Snapcaster Mages, or, well, and, there's no or to that because it's a creature, then like just having three of these in the 75 is still good because there are some matchups where this is just your best card. But besides that, that's kind of what we've been doing. So we're going to just run through some leagues and we're going to start owning. We're going to be playing fast and loose tonight on a Friday night. I opened up uh, Surgical Extraction in a treasure chest last night. Whew. That was nice. That was nice. That was like a $70 treasure chest. I think. Let's see what they're going for on, on, uh, on Moto at the moment. I know they were like mid-60s. I could just do this on the stupid uh, 60, yeah, 64. I could have just done this in the chat. Not even worried about it. My brother just called me, looked on the computer, looking to play arena with me. I'm like, no, not, not tonight, little brother. You're going to have to get your wins on your own. My brother, for only having played, like, I don't know, like, m legit Magic for, like, three or four months, is actually decent. He's going to be a prodigy. I got him playing his Drake deck. It's just, like, the standard Death Shadow. He's going to be he's gonna be slinging Teamer Battle Ranges before long. I'm having a great day, Nick. How are you? Yeah, we're going to keep this hand. Nothing super special, but it's a turn two Gurmag Angler. So we can bolt something and then do it. Is there going to be able to bolt something, or this is going to be a word deck? God, I would love to snap that, that thing off there. Let's bobble ourselves. We're looking for a discard spell or a stub. We don't want that. I'm going to fetch a Blood Crypt and Cycle. I could get a little punished here. Yeah, so... What are the chances my opponent's playing regular affinity? 
Probably zero because they kept they kept seven and this was their opener. So why are we back? Because it's it just it's just right to have a card like Lightning Bolt in your seventy five when you see so many cards and just a unique effect. You know, you can bolt yourself, bolt your opponent. So I'm gonna assume my opponent's playing four color word. I'm gonna hold this bobble because I might pitch it. I think I'm going to pitch it. Like I could keep, I could pitch both and keep a land, but I would like to grow my shadow more. I kind of also need to like find more interaction though, and this is just a redraw. Yeah, I'm just gonna ditch. I'm gonna get greedy and ditch two lands, and we'll do this in my opponent's upkeep because we're tapped out. I can picture him screaming already. Does that mean my play is awful, or is that just what he does? I'm going to feel like... I guess we kept our Lightning Bolt. It's like that's not awful. So next turn, we can go... <coughs> uh, just what he does. Next turn, we can go... Uh, Shadow Dermag. But that's probably not as good as going like Shadow Thoughtsies or Dermag Thoughtsies. It's going to depend on what we draw. Uh, give me one second. Okay. Sorry about that. I just was answering a email, a, something from a colleague. So we found a bobble. My opponent's still two artifacts off of turning on Metalcraft. All right, Snapcast and Rage. Stubborn Denial is great too. <clears throat> so Fetch Shock, even if we thought sees next turn, the shadow is still smaller than an angler. So I think we're just going to, yeah, he's two, so he's one short. Isn't that what I said? <clears throat> might, I might be wrong. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're just going to delve. We're going to go with the angler because, like, it's the, just the, the guaranteed larger card. Too short. Yeah, we're going to keep stubbing angler. All right. My opponent doesn't do anything. I'm not going to bolt them. Because I'd have to fetch demon to do it. And that's not worth it. Or maybe I'll do that at some point. Alright. Ensnaring Bridge. No, sir. Sorry, I'm, I'm, my my coworker's texting me, so I gotta I gotta respond to those. All right, I'm gonna attack first because we are doing that anyways. I'm gonna cycle my street wraith also before I do this. Okay, so I can hold up snap stub. <clears throat> I can hold up Snap Stub, or I can go Thought Seize, play Shadow. I go to eight, Fetch Shock to five, bolt myself to two, and they're dead next turn. I get super, super punished if my opponent has two ensnaring bridges here, but that's not super likely. Like, we can beat one bridge regardless, and I can cut them off a draw step for a second bridge. So I think we're just going to thought seize them. Because like I give them two draw steps anyways to find a bridge. <clears throat> you just pass. So what are the chances my opponent has two relevant cards? Probably decently, like it's decent. So 
And if my opponent lands a bridge, the problem is, is if we don't do anything here, because my opponent's just going to sink my mana. They're not going to do it. Okay, they're never going, they're not going to, like, we're going to play this game of Hokey Pokey where my opponent will mate, wait until my turn to whir, and then I don't do anything with my mana. So I think I'm just going to Thought Seize them. They basically just sink my turn, and I'm in the same spot anyways. And if I draw a land, I haven't done anything, because I can't go, like, Snap, thought, snap Stub, Thought Seize. So I think I'm just... I think I'm just going to Thought Seize play Shadow. <clears throat> okay. Um, none of this matters. Could any of this matter? The Witchbane Arm could matter because I might need to bolt my opponent out of the game for some weird reason here. But they get one turn to rip. And they can't, they can't actually, they, have, they get one turn for Ensnaring Bridge. <clears throat> okay, there's one draw. So we're going to do this now. My opponent's dead. Unless they have... They can't have anything else. The problem is if I just, like, pass here, and they have were, they go play something pass, and then they were on my turn, sink my mana, and I have a, lose another draw step, I would board in Shatterstorm. Nice. We don't have Shatterstorm. Not nice. We have Hercules. We're going to bring in him. Uh, Snapcaster Mage is also a maybe. Those are kind of the only cards I'm interested in. Cards I am not interested in. They have Psy. So, we can't, like, just abandon all of our removal and feel okay about it. I think looting gets worse after our deck becomes focused. I want to leave the Battle Rages in because I can rage over Psy tokens. I think I just want to go these five for these five. There's a chance that the Faithless Looting is better than the third Snapcaster Mage, which I can buy because they can transmute for Tormod Script. Am I playing against where they always have the nuts, which is why I'm inclined to be conservative with stuff up. Yeah, but I think it's just... In all seriousness, do we board in Jace? Well, all right, let's 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 take a look here. Let's pull this Word Prison deck up. Let me see how many Pithing Needle effects they have. So in their main deck, they have two Spyglasses. Which main arm gives them Hexproof? I don't know if that matters yet. i got to read Jace. They're going to have four Spyglasses. Up to four Spyglasses after after um, whatever it is. After Grave. After. Um, they're going to have four, up to four Spyglasses. But they're not going to bring those in. Those aren't that great. You can have it. Whenever you cast a spell, target opponents with the top five cards in the library and their graveyard. So this doesn't work through Witch Bane Orb, but <clears throat> we might be able to fight Witch Bane Orb, like if we get a, uh... <clears throat> they bring in Planeswalkers. I'm going to try it, like whatever. Like I, I'm, I'm just down, I'm going to try it, like a bunch of shit tonight. Like we're going to, we're going to board this in a lot even in spots where it doesn't look great. Thoughtseize. Cuts off discard. Can't get, like, bolted out or K-commanded out of a game. <clears throat> All right, we got the Jace. We're going to keep his hands pretty good. Like orbs too slow. They're still gonna keep it, right? Like they're not sideboarding that card out. It also shuts off Hercules Recall. <clears throat> I 
Because Hercules recards target target opponent. So spell skite. You're owning. You're owning. Am I gonna get to snipe a spell skite here? I'm probably not gonna snipe a spell skite. I'm gonna hit a chalice. Does he? I would assume that if Hercules Recall becomes the standard, he would not. <clears throat> okay, so. All right. This Rise Fall not looking great. My opponent's got two cards. We definitely don't want that. Now, because we don't have Serum Visions, we can just fire this off. <clears throat> All right, we're going to hit land next turn. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to bobble them. I don't get much value in my second bobble here. We have another Spell Sky. Okay. All right, so we just have to take this Chalice because our deck doesn't work. It's a little unfortunate that this isn't a source that, uh... <clears throat> okay, so we drew this. We can hem our opponent this turn, which is kind of sweet. So my opponent's got what? They've got Spell Sky, Spell Sky, EE. -E. Chalice for one, okay. Like no modern. I kind of want to hit my opponent. Like, we didn't board this card in to not cast it on turn two. So, I'm going to hit them. I'm not even sure it's right to do. I just want I just want to cast this card more often. Which one is it? It's fall. <clears throat> oh, they only have one card? I thought they had two. Oh no, they played a spell sky. They played a spell sky. Okay, okay. I, I saw the two spell skies here and I got confused. Okay, well, I'm gonna cycle this because if we hit a death shadow, we wanna play we don't want to play it, so shouldn't have cycled that. Alright. Uh yeah, we're just gonna play this Jace. Pretty much. So I could go discard spell shadow, bounce this, return my shadow, but that's pretty slow. <clears throat> yes, Dalway would be yelling because I made a mistake. Whatever, I'm going to play this card. Okay, so we found our way to win. I kind of don't even want to do anything. Like, <clears throat> I could just bounce this back, return a street rate to draw a card, but, like, what does this, doing this do? I kind of just want to save my spells to cast when I when I ult this Jace here. Yeah, I just don't think I'm going to do anything. I think I'm just going to, like, race to ult this Jace. But, like, if my opponent finds... I'm going to want to find... No, I think I should play my... I should go Rise Fall... Return Street Wraith, cycle Street Wraith, and then play Gurmag Angler because I want to turn on Stubborn Denial next turn. <clears throat> like that's because I want I want to make it so that I can stub. <clears throat> um, I want to make it so that I can have stub online as soon as possible. So we're gonna take a million damage. They have a way to like pr to uh, whatever. Punish me for taking a bunch of damage. I guess they have Psy. I guess we can just do this. Like, Rise. 
We'll go return here, bounce here. And this is just purely because I want to draw cards to find Stubborn Denial so I can play Gurmagangler next turn and have it held out. Just to protect me from Witchbane Orb or Sorcerer's Spyglass. Um, and I don't think I'm going to cycle it now because I can't even do anything to like a Spyglass. So we're just going to go like this. Well, what can they do? They can work for three. No, I'm just going to pay. <clears throat> I'm just going to hold this. Because I don't want to pay too much life in case I have to dismember Psy. But next turn, I'm going to like cycle this, go up here, hopefully find Stub, play Gurmag Angler, and then have Stub up. <clears throat> okay, Academy Ruins, that's bad. Okay. So let's cycle this. Okay, we found Stub. We're owning. Uh, get rid of this. Go up on this. I'm just going to play this land tapped and pass. <clears throat> yeah. So we kind of have to counter this. They put this on top or they just rip this? They rip this. Yeah, I'm just going to counter this. Like, whatever. If they if they want to spin their wheels, like, we can't do anything if we don't counter it, right? So this ults at 9. I guess I should cast this. Okay. So they can just, they can't upkeep, do it, and get me, but. <clears throat> oh, they're going to bring this back over two turns. Okay. They're going to blow my Jace up. That's not good. <clears throat> okay. Oh, gross. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good line from our opponent. So now I probably have to go down on this sleight of hand. Because they're just going to blow it up. Well, no, no, they can't, right? So they go return one, two, blow two. Yeah, I have to go down on this sleight of hand. Because they like bring back, play for two. What does that do? That doesn't do anything. We're gonna take Colgan command because I always, I always, I always want to scry whenever I play with this card. Are we just like we're no longer owning? Because they can just start looping this, which is no way. Bueno. I guess we can just return it, but like, Like, they can blow it up, then we can return it and, like, go shatter whatever, but I don't know. We're kind of in a tough spot. If our opponent does something stupid, I guess we can, like, maybe get out of this, but maybe we can, like, loop, loop enough here, but... Yeah, we definitely need Recall slash Shatterstorm. So if our opponent gives us priority, which they did not, our opponent is intelligent. Chalice on one. Oh, wow. No, that doesn't really do anything. I mean, I guess we can go like... 
Can they change this? Change target ability. I mean, I guess we just make them discard return Street Wraith at this point. <clears throat> yes, we did. We got punked. We'll go to one. Because they can just Welding Jar this. Coligon's Command, they save it. I don't know how this works. Because, like, can the Spell Sky... If I go two damage on the Spell Sky, the Spell Skies are just going to get me here. So do I have to, like, let this go, dismember a Spell Sky, then go shoot, deal two damage, shatter this? I don't fucking know how this works. I need to go turn on light also. It's getting dark in here. Yeah, I don't think they can change it. So, we're going to let this resolve. I'm going to dismember this. <clears throat> so, it's going to get you no matter what. I think so. I could just, like, return my Street Wraith. Yeah, I'm just going to return my Street Wraith, make them discard. Gives me another card to find Hercules Recall. I don't know. This probably this likely isn't right, but I don't want to think that hard on a Friday night. We're pretty much dead. Find me a Hercules Recall. Snapcaster Mage. What does that do? <clears throat> I guess I can just like Snapcaster Mage in their draw step if I can pin them with one card, I guess. Let me make sure I use this. <clears throat> I'm going to win this game. I'm mad. Okay. Sure. I'm going to try to get it so that I can pin this Engineered Explosives in my opponent's hand and then get them with a Snapcaster Mage. That's our plan. But I'm going to have to do that. Like I'm going to have to draw like... Another Kologon's Command. I don't have another Kologon's Command. I only have one in my deck, though. I have to make sure not to crack this. It's game two. My opponent's very well playing around what I could be possibly doing. Because I have a card in hand. Search for Teleria West. Okay. They can't put that on two. They got an Inventor's Fair. Okay. <clears throat> so if they play, well, I guess they're not going to play into it. They have an engineered explosives that they have access to that I don't really know how to beat at the moment. <clears throat> wow, there are 50 people in here? Y'all are great.
opponent whirs for four. That just that just kills me because yeah, that just kills me because I can't um, I can't Hercules recall them anymore, and I can't target them, so we dead, right? Uh, whenever you cast spell target opponent, okay, concede the game. <clears throat> Orb shuts off recall and it shuts off uh, um, shuts off a lot of stuff. Shuts off Colgon's command because of the in the whatever it is in play. All right, we're just gonna submit. God damn it, Mayor Michael, I will show Phil if you show your face in this chat. <clears throat> oh, that makes sense. Yep, no, you're right. All right, that sounds pretty solid. <clears throat> Because we don't have Seer Visions in our deck, I'm going to cycle. How bad do we want a third land? We don't. We found one anyways. <coughs> Free fill. Philly boy. Do you want to say hi to Twitch chat? Come here, bud. We're going for... Let me finish this match, and then we'll, then we'll go for a ride. Okay. Stir the pot, my friend. It's no land, okay. Should go to the end step. Another thought scour. Hercules recall, you don't say. I was going to play my shadow. Get it out there. We have the Hercules. So we're in like a decent spot here. <clears throat> Phil is my dog. Left string one out of ten. <laughs> all right, all right. <clears throat> this is it different from Legend? It's like a chalice. It's a chalice of the void deck. E E for one. You got it. I could Hercules recall that, but that seems kind of loose, especially considering we know our opponent has an... Well, no, they played, played that last turn. All right. All right, there's a Snapcaster Mage. I'm going to go fetch. All these Steam Vents. <clears throat> I'm going to Thought Scour again. Yeah, word is a milieu, just like turtles. So I could just bounce it. Oh, I'm so stupid. I should have just bounced it, and then I should have freaking thought seized it. God damn it. Fast and loose, baby. Can I kill my opponent? Fast and loose. I'm telling you, Dolly would have played Delta. Play videos on YouTube channel. This is the first time seeing you. Death Shadow. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Starman BR. Because I could have just bounced both of these and thought seized one of them, which, you know, isn't that great, but it's something I should have at least thought about. What do I want to do? I could bounce, attack for four. I can't, I can't go fetch shock. Battle Rage, Dismember my... Sh and then Dismember also next turn. Hmm. 
wholesome comment like before. Troll. I could just do this to like blow, you know, like. I guess I time walk my opponent, right? I have a Snapcaster Mage. Is it like super loose to do that? Yeah, fast and loose. Now nah, we have plenty of time. What I should have done is I should have Hercules recalled Thoughtseize. But I'm just going to bounce. I'm just going to go like this. Uh, this is probably like loose, loose AF or whatever. We're just going to bounce everything. <clears throat> I have a Snapcaster Mage so we can do it again. Especially if they go to like Land or Bridge. <clears throat> this is like loose. But whatever. We're having fun tonight. It's the Cage Crypt deck. Hmm. Hmm. That makes sense. Loading jar comes down. Now we're going to get whacked. I, I was kind of like hoping that... Okay. All right. So if I play Gurmag Angler, I go to EOT, go to 7. What's my opponent going to do? If I play Gurmag Angler, dismember my own shadow. They've got engineered explosives in their hand. I can't really tempo my opponent out of the game. I can just play Gurmag Angler and set up to kill them next turn. Which I kind of like. They might get comfortable. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, the shadow is still good to attack. So what we're going to do... We're going to go here. I'm not going to crack this. No, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I literally just talked to the chat about this. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out, chat. We're going to take this. One, two, three, four. It's okay. We're okay. We're going to take this. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Whatever. It's fast and loose on Friday. I'm going to take this engineered explosives. Then I'm going to play Gurmag Angler. I'm going to dismember... My Death Shadow. Dismember my Death Shadow, end of turn. And then I'm going to just snap Hercules Recall, my opponent, and hope they don't see the line. It has been a brilliant display of skill, yes. Like I said, we're fast and loose on Friday. Oh, I can still attack. Yes. Yes, I can still attack. We're good. I might as well do more damage. Holy shnikes. <clears throat> this is kind of obvious, but whatever. We're just playing magic. <clears throat> he can't work for Tormont's Crypt. Whoops. I guess that makes sense. Maybe we can bob and weave around that. <clears throat> Why not... Put him to one and K command him out. I had to find it, right? Eventually. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. 
pretty much. Like we made a mistake. We made a mistake. We're gonna try to like pass and figure this out. We're playing fast and loose. Ooh. Transmit to Larry West, okay. Chalice, okay. My opponent can still wear for two. Oh, we tossed it. We tossed it, chat. I totally would have won this game, but I've been like on my mind here. <clears throat> Why do you have less time than your opponent? Because I concede when it's correct to concede. Whatever, let this go. I don't really know how we get out of this. That's not it. So you can still like get me. I messed up. I messed this game up. I messed this game up a lot. But whatever. We're having fun. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna fetch just to thin my deck out here. This isn't my best performance. Okay. <clears throat> yes, it is. In response to them finding a snap, snap and bounce. The problem is that they're just going to like do nothing and pass and never take it down. <clears throat> we made we made mistakes. We made mistakes. Like our only out is to draw our second Snapcaster Mage, or if we draw, if we draw, if we draw Rise Fall, we're good. We can draw Rise Fall, or we can draw our second Snapcaster Mage. <clears throat> Dotsy doesn't do it, right? Actually, I don't think I can beat this. Order for four. Yeah, we're just dead. Ugh. I totally could have won this game. I just tossed it. So, like, bounce everything. Yeah. Right? Bounce everything. They then replay everything. Doesn't matter if they get one, two, three, four cards in their hand. They'll go to seven. They can play one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, we're just dead. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Messed that up. That I could have won that match if I hadn't if I hadn't just like had my head in my ass. <clears throat> Which I did. If I had not have had my head in my ass, we would have won that match. Which is like, whatever. Always watch your videos on YouTube. Great catch you live. Have a fun night.
Awesome. Thank you, Jay Madness. Yeah. So, like, if we would have not been in fast and loose mood, uh, fast and loose mode, I'm pretty sure we would have won that match there. But whatever. I have tickets to burn, and we're having fun. That's what that's what we're doing tonight. <clears throat> it's Friday. We're not getting any. We're not getting too serious on a Friday. What do you think of a uh, slight take up the Shadow Zoo? Yeah, the Suicide Zoo deck is it's, it's like decent, right? I mean, the format's really not interactive. I think my deck. Um, nice hand. I think my deck kind of shows that the way I have it built. Yeah, slight of hand. It just gets it gets the card now. Which, whoa. So we're playing against Ad Nauseam? Or Boggles? If that's the case, I have to find a Death Shadow quick. I don't need another Angler. I'm going to get a Watery Grave. I'm going to cycle my Street Wraith to better inform what I'm doing. Look at two. Look at a stub. <coughs> Alright, so we can play Gurmag Angler next turn, which is nice. Snow Covered Plains. Oh, we're playing like a Restore Balance deck. Alright, that's a nice draw because I can do Gurmag Angler plus Stub. So let's just go like this. We might find a Fetch Land. We did not. Bobble myself. All right, we're drawing a nice Fatal Push. But the nice thing about that is we can loot it away next turn. <coughs> hey, you got 13 minutes, bud. In 13 minutes, I'll give you, I'll give you your D-I-N-N-E-R, okay? Sure. I guess I could just push that. It like shape it takes a turn off the clock and I can already hit this get rid of this discard spell. Yeah, I'm just gonna push this thing. It's not bad. So we're gonna cast looting before we do anything else. <clears throat> Uh, is the second Gurmag Angler going to do anything? We might push a Wall of Omens. Yeah, I don't think the second Angler is going to matter. You can just push a Blocker. Because like even next turn, with the way that things are, we'd have to tap out to play Angler, and we're not doing that. Okay. Not countering that, even though they can replay the land. You replay the land doesn't really matter. Of course, not really doing anything. <clears throat> I thought I was gonna like game one leyline me, and I think still get browned. Okay. Could have stubbed that and like wastelanded them, but not about that life. Um, five nine. Yep, doesn't do anything. It's like a world where I want to bolt like an Ahiri, I guess. So I'm not going to do this because this is dealing nine. So. <clears throat> then we pass. What do you got, opponent? A Nyctos. Five devotion to white. Valley of Lancers. Okay. 
I don't know what's going on here. This Nick does is actually kind of gas. I mean, at least we can attack through it. The problem is they eat my shadow if I do that. So I'll just bolt myself, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know. Lyra Dawnbringer. You don't say. So what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm drawing to dismember. Um, Battle Rage just wins. Do I want to bolt myself? Yeah, I have no clue what's going on here. <clears throat> I'm going to untap because Team or Battle Rage wins the game. Anyways. Oh. Well, shit. That's nice. I mean, I was really going to tank about how I was going to do this turn. But, like, then I drew Battle Rage. <clears throat> push it. We need to grow shadow so we can push it. If it blocks with Lyra. You're talking about make it so they have to block this shadow? Yeah, we could do that next turn, right? That's a good line, though. JP5184. Just keep that in mind. We cannot bolt them. They have a ley line in Okay, so against this deck, I really want to Hercules Recall my opponent's whatever they are. They're stupid. That, that's target player, though, so they have a ley line. doesn't matter. I guess these strokes are good. I, mean, I guess the Rise Fall is okay to bounce a creature? I have no idea. Like, I, don't, I know I don't want these Fatal Pushes. The Rise Fall is probably not good. The bolt is probably decent to be able to bolt myself. I don't know. It's either that or like the Snapcaster Mage to be able to flashback important spells. I have no idea what my opponent's doing. But I have three cards that I know I want out. And here's three cards that like... I'm going to go with the Snapcaster Mage is better than this. I don't know. This is what we're doing now. I'm just like so bamboozled by what my opponent's doing that whatever. Yeah. The freaking the, the game one ley line. We're just going to submit this. Again, we're fast and loose. I'm going to go turn some more lights on. I'm also going to feed my dog. I'll be right back. Hey, Philly, what do you want dinner? Oh, my God, guys. Hey, yo. Eight months going. How you doing, sir? I will keep my hand. Doesn't have discard spell in it. Oh man. I was really hoping my opponent was gonna go like turn one or ley line me. I think I'm going to do this on my turn because I'm definitely like thought scouring slash stubbing something. And if I have a card I like, I don't want to have to shuffle it away. Because the format's just too fast. We're going to keep that. Like, modern is so fast at the moment, the Snapcaster Mage just isn't that good. <clears throat> I'm going to cycle my Street Wraith before I thought scour, I think. No, that's stupid. I'm stupid. 
opponent. What are you doing? Watery grave, more lands. All right, let's get a little information. Let's get a little more information. Tilt. All right, Path to Exile, Oblivion Ring. Well, this is annoying. So I have to be able to stub one of these. If I take Path to, I kind of want to take Path to Exile because it's my opponent's clunkiest card. Or it's my opponent's least clunky card. Even though I have no idea what this does. What does this do here? It's untapped creatures you control. All right, I think what we're going to end up doing here is we're going to Thought Seize Gideon. No, this is Gideon's Intervention. Oh, this isn't Gideon of the Trials? I think I kind of want to take this Archangel and then take this Gideon's Intervention. That doesn't really do it, though. Take this. I'm going to have to have my opponent play this out. I'm going to take the path because it's their least clunkiest. Like, it's their most, uh, like, efficient card. My opponent's hand's not very efficient. Like, next turn, I think we can play Shadow. Stub their clunky play. Oh, they can't even because of the Nyctos. What a what an efficient deck for my opponent. All right, so now we're gonna steam vents. Take a look. Um, I gonna want the second shadow because we stub this. We stub their next play, and they have a path. Then we can just like let it go. Yeah, we're gonna take the next shadow, but we're only gonna play this one here. I could get whacked by this angel though. If my opponent just runs this angel out next turn, I could be in a little trouble. Yeah, I heard Patrick the Innovator in his podcast mock three snapcasters. Yeah, I, I didn't listen to I, I don't listen to that podcast. I, I listen to it occasionally. Get out. And now the plan's coming together. Because now we attack. There's no difference between six and four. So we're just gonna shock, attack, play another one. And then next turn, we just play this land out, and they have to chomp. Phil. <clears throat> hmm, they don't get it. That, they probably shouldn't get it. Turns battlefield, choose target name. All right, whatever. Cards I don't want to play with play against for a hundred. Target stubborn denial. All right, nice. Well, that was easier. I definitely don't like playing against Word of Inventions when I'm on fast and loose mood mode because like there's a lot going on there. <clears throat> 55 people watching already 59 i appreciate you all for showing up we we're having a good time on a friday night won the die roll sands like medium but we've got disruption a lot of selection as well 
All right, get that out of here. I'm going to hold my Thoughtseize in case I'm playing against something weird or aggressive. Or hold my Street Wraith, excuse me. Whoa. We're playing like Super Speed Jun. Well, if Liliana the Veil ever goes on the stack, I can't beat it. So I'm just going to take Liliana. We have like Aggro Jun. It's kind of cool. Drew a Bobble, nice. Wooded Foothills, you got it. Oh, I gotta figure out how I sequence my cantrips here. Took a little schoolwork situation, making sure I was good for regional smile, and I had stuff that was going to attend. Feels bad. That sucks. That sucks. So let's take a look at my top card. My top card's good. Yeah, I think we want that. I need to be kind of conservative with my life total, though. So, like, my opponent's going to curve into gross. G R O S S. So much for being conservative with my life total. Oh, thank you, Andrew. With gifting the sub. I appreciate you, sir. All right, we're drawing hot. <clears throat> God, did you draw a Bob? You drew a Tarmogoy? That's rude. Can't even dismember it. So dead. Super dead. I need a Death Shadow. Into a, I need like a Death Shadow into a Stubborn Denial. That's half of it. The problem is, so I need... That no, doesn't even work. I need it in the other order. So we're going to get a Swamp, Cycle. Get ready to go right-click Concede. That thing's going to have Haste. And they have a Blood Braid Elf. Bro, so I'm going to take a draw step. Fatal Push. I yield. I yield, opponent. Dude, everyone's good at something. Nine was tilting. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Andrew. All right. This, these come in. These come in. That's it. Most of my red cards go out. Lightning bolts medium. And cut two of these and one stubborn denial. Especially considering my opponent's deck appears more aggressive. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is what we're going to do. We brought in two three drops and kind of a third three drop. We cut two wraiths, which kind of feels bad, but we, we got to balance it out in some way. So we're going to go like this. I'm going to grab a glass of water. I'll be right back. Okay. I would like to draw. And my hand's pretty solid. I'm likely going to get hit with a discard spell here, which kind of sucks, but... Schultz cubed. How are you doing, my friend? It's not a good matchup. It's not a good matchup. Don't discard spell me. What do you want? What do you want? All right. You want to say hi to Twitch chat, Phil? We're going for a ride. Um, if they want to take my street rate, they can. Say hi, Twitch chat, Phil. Oh, ooh, you, you got him, Phil. Pound it. Oh, knows him. 
Pound of filth. Oh, there we go. Oh, you got some dog food on here. Twitch chat says hi. Or Phil says hi, Twitch chat. <clears throat> Dude, the pupper. The cutest puppy on Twitch. That is the Philly boy. Um, I'm going to cycle this at some point, but I could hit a bobble. So I'm going to hold up, hold off on it for a turn. Um, I have to be a little conservative in my life total. I might, yeah, it's, it's so cowardly to get a swamp. God, get off my back, opponent. I'm just going to take their turn to play. The cruel spellbreaker is going to be so annoying, though. Did you rip a two drop? Did you actually rip a two drop? You son of a gun. All right. So I take five. I can't stub this Assassin's Trophy. So I don't think I can play my Death Shadow. But I'm going to cycle this. Did not find a way to interact. These can fetch basics. So I think... I think I'm just going to play this out. Because if my opponent like big brains and doesn't attack, which I think is going to be wild... Okay, there's a spellbreaker. You give it haste, you're gonna make it a four-four. Has haste. Okay. My opponent's coming in for seven. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna get a red source. No, I'm gonna get. No, I'm gonna get this. Death shadow. All right. Rage Ravine's a problem. Okay. Do we stop that? All right. Rise Fall is not great. Because what do I do? I'm going to bounce. I'm going to bounce a Tarmogoyf. And then bring back a Street Wraith. That's just not very good. What does Mistress Bobble do? Mistress Bobble, does, Mistress Bobble doesn't do anything. Oh, we're in trouble. No, lo looting's really bad against Liliana because you just don't have any cards to filter. I can go fetch Swamp, and I can bounce this Tarmogoyf, return Street Wraith. But I really don't think that does very much for me. But it's got to be better than Mishra's Bobble. Like, what does a random draw step do for me? A random draw... God, we're in a tough spot. I think I'm going to take the Rise Fall and just bounce this Tarmogoyf. Bring back my Street Wraith. Just to kind of slow my opponent down. Because if they don't do any blocks, then we untap with Snapcaster Mage. <clears throat> Yeah, we're going to take this. I'm going to go fetch an island. No, that's so bad because now we just lose to a land. Yeah, I, I punted. 
I should have got the bobble, because now if they can just animate Ravine, I lose. Alright, whatever. We're, we're kind of priced in. Alright, I can flash back Snapcaster. I can flash in Snapcaster Mage and block, and then return it with Rise Fall. So that's what we're going to do. The Cardboard Live extension, I was having a hard time with it, so it is not set up. <clears throat> we are in a tough way. Fulminator. Okay. I have to just play the Snapcaster Mage as a blocker and then like bounce the Tarmogoyf. Oh, this is all so bad. Because I need the Snapcaster Mage in play. I guess I don't. Because I can just bounce Tarmogoyf, flash in Snapcaster Mage. Gosh, what a tough spot. If I just draw a Fatal Push, this would be so much easier. I guess I can just do it all next turn as well. So hang on. What does that do? That doesn't really do that much because I have to deal so much damage to it. Like, if I just go Snapcaster Serum Visions, bounce Tarmogoyf, block eat, go to one. Block, block. I have to I have to get my Snapcaster Mage on the board. So let's... Is it worth going to three? That means I can just not block this instead of this. I die a Lightning Bolt, but like, whatever. I have two. I have a lightning bolt in my deck, so I guess we'll... Jeez. So bounce. Bounce Tarmogoyf. That's, bounce Tarmogoyf replay doesn't sound that great to me. I think I'm just going to take this Gurmag Angler. Because then we we actually have like good blocks. I can shrink this goif. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this Gurmag Angler and hope that we get out of this turn. My opponent doesn't have Planeswalker. That's it. But I should get rid of my creature because I'm not returning a Street Wave. I'll rise. Dude, the Rise has been kind of cool. It's just like a more efficient Kologons command. So if my opponent just like swings out here like an 8, then they're, we're going to go to 1, but we're going to be able to bring back Snapcaster Mage and return like a random card to set them back. I have to hope they don't draw anything. But whatever. Did you end up uh, getting a flight to go? Oh, are you serious? No, that doesn't do anything. We're still good. So if they give it if they give it haste, then we just go block, block, block. Our snapcaster goes to the graveyard and then we get to bring it back. I should have left the stupid whatever in my graveyard. I made a mistake there. 
I should have left slight a hand, but we, we hit anyways. So slight, dismember, we're still good. Yeah, I can still take this bobble. Because we'll just block this. Just bobble my opponent. They're drawing a fulminator. Doesn't matter. Okay. <clears throat> well, I didn't want I want to I want to have my opponent attack. So that, like I can just like I want them to get overzealous. And then I can just like eat their graveyard. That's what we're trying to do here. Okay. Opponent can kind of see like here we're gonna go and we're gonna get to just we're gonna go to one, but we get the good side of this. <clears throat> because I want my like I'm so far behind, I want my opponent to just attack, and then I want to like blow them out in combat. That's what I want to do. And plus, like, this Death Shadow covers this Tarmogoyf. So I can just, like, block here, block here, block this. Basically, I can block the Raging Ravine because that costs mana. Dismember this. Take two, go to one. Then we eat, eat. Come on, opponent. I can't dismember the spell breakers. You're right. So I'll dismember this raging ravine. Then just go block, eat, chump, take two, bounce, fulminator mage, return snapcaster mage. I don't know. We're in magic's hard territory. I think it's trample. Jesus. So I just dead. This is how much standard I've played. So block, 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 dismember. All right, we're still okay. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so they do attack with all, they lose the game. But. So I just have to dismember something here, right? Probably hit this Raging Ravine. Yeah, we're going to take out this Raging Ravine. It's the only good thing. we got to like start to whittle away the board. Okay. So now... Now I just want to play Jace and Gurmag Angler, which is kind of awkward. But then the board's stable. And then the, the Tarmogoyf is small. Can I start attacking? Hang on. I think I just want to start... If I attack with my Death Shadow, my opponent just chumps it with Fulminator Mage. And that doesn't really do anything. And then I play Gurmag Angler, Jace... Eat. Yeah, I'm going to attack with my Death Shadow. I think I have to start getting in there. Yeah. We can't really just fool around at 3 life. And my opponent's kind of insane. Like, I guess they, would, they, they shouldn't play around battle range because we're on game 2. I'm going to attack this turn. Fast and loose. Okay. 
play Gurren Mag Angler, delve four cards, I guess I like lose to a removal spell this way. I guess I don't lose to a removal spell because I just go block. Yeah, I don't. I have four creatures. They have a full mana mage in hand. I don't think you should board this in against Death Shadow. BT dubs. We're going to leave the dismember. Ooh, this is quite a game. <clears throat> you know, Bloodbraid Elf. Spin it. That's a nut. That's a good top deck. Scavenging is okay. I can beat that. <clears throat> Can I beat the 3 2? Block, block, block. Block, block, block. Chump. Can't really beat the 3 2, right? I mean, I can go to 1, and then I can just bounce this and kill them. Okay. That's not that good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three. I guess I just loot with my Jace. Because then I can like bounce with Tarmogoyf. Attack with my Death Shadow. Trades here. Or then we eat this. Block, block, block. Or block here. No, block, block, block this, block this, block this. They have one creature, so it lives. So I can't do anything. I just have to pass. <clears throat> oh my gosh, we are in just like a super tough game. So if I attack with my Gurmag Anglers, one, two, three, what if I attack with my Anglers? They go block here, block here, block, and then I can bounce Bloodbraid, LOL. Yeah, this is tough. I don't know what to do. Like, this is such a tough game. Because the problem is, if we bounce these Gruul Spellbreakers, they get haste. If I loot with my Jace, and I just go block, 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 I likely die. I, can't, I only have two blocks. Even if I bounce, I'd have to bounce this. Or this, and then go block. Okay, so let's loot with Jace, I guess. Holy shnikes. So we find a removal spell, I'm in really good shape. Holy shnikes. So now I push. So now I attack, they block, they hit this. Then I push this. They have full mana mage in hand. Block, 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 take two. And then my then my then I can return my Snapcaster Mage. <clears throat> Could minus I remember wait I'm down. No, yeah, we're in like the definition of magic is hard territory. 
I'm gonna time out of this match for sure. But like, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna like win this game because I put so much goddamn time into it. I'm gonna hit this. Then I'm going to attack with my Death Shadow. They're going to block with Fulminator Mage. And then I'm going to. How is this? No, I need a target in my graveyard. Oh, shoot. Did I just kill myself? No, I didn't kill myself. Rise Hall needs a target. Fuck. If that's the case, I should have attacked with more. Whatever, we're fast and loose. Fast and loose on a Friday. Our opponent has another Fulminator Mage. No, I'm just actually dead now. I fucked up. I fucked up so bad because this needs a target. Right? Can I not cast this? Rise. I have to give them back a full air mage. That's fine. Whatever. <clears throat> I've not played with this card very much. Yeah. I can return one of theirs. So it hasn't gone exactly as planned. But next turn, we can, like, loot with Jace. I think we're going to win this game. The question is if I can win the next game in time or not. Aw. We put so much effort in just to die. Okay, so I totally messed this game up here. Like, I totally could have won this game, I think. I think, like... If I just stay patient and play fast or play slow, like I, I would have won this game. Oh man, we had a Colgon's command coming. Ugh. Ugh. God. That was a fun game. That was a really fun game. And we, we would have won that if we weren't on Fast and Loose Friday. That would have been the plan. <clears throat> 66 people watching. I appreciate everyone hanging out. Uh, Brad, are you going to stream tonight? If you're going to stream, you always stream late, right? Like you're, you're past my time of rating. I would like to play first. I would like to keep this hand. Probably not. Okay. I'm going to keep. You always stream late anyways. You you. I always try to like catch some of your streams, but they're always past my bedtime. You. What are you playing tomorrow? I doubt you're going to have many competitors in chat right now. Ancient Stirring Strategy. Nice. Dolly Dolly Shadow List. Yeah. We we worked on that. And I, I think it's pretty good. I think these Rise Falls are nice. I mean, if I would have navigated that game correctly, I think I would have won. Mine, mine, power plant, power plant. So this doesn't this hand doesn't work without this expedition map. Well, they have a tower. Oh, damn it. Oh man. I can't read. My opponent's just gonna natural tron me. Because I can't read. Alright, we're gonna slight. Um 
show me the street race like a professional. God, that was close. Am I down for just trading this shadow for this walking ballista? That seems pretty bad, but they're gonna turn three car on me. <clears throat> so they're definitely okay playing with their ballista, playing their ballista after they uh, after they draw this Karn, so we're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do this here. Might play another bobble. Another bobble's fine. I don't know what you want to cut for though. Like you could cut a sleight of hand for the bobble. The sleight of hands are nice. Like the format is too fast for serum visions. One, two, three, four, five, bolt myself. Yeah, I'm gonna bolt myself and then play Angler with Stub. Because I need another card in the graveyard. I mean I hit, but like you know, that's nice. Yeah, we, we've all been just, like, hanging out, and we've been chatting, and, like, Serum is just such dog shit. Because, like, the format is so fast. Okay, so they played that. They played this. And, like... This card doesn't dig like Serum Visions, but it does it quickly. You know what would be sick? It doesn't even know it. doesn't even do it. If we drew like Street Wraith into Battle Rage here, it'd be nice. That'd be A+. Thoughtseize would be good as well. Stubborn Denial is like not the worst. Um... Probably just take Thought Scour. Bobble's free though, and they both cantrip. Yeah, they both cantrip, and Bobble's free. My opponent's gonna play a Ballista for 47. And then I'm gonna be sad. What can they Ballista for? Mine, they have nine. You do need Scour, yeah. As unfortunate as that is. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to take this Bobble. Like, the Thought Scour does basically the same thing as the Bobble. It just does it for free. And we might hit, like, I don't know, a Fatal Push here. Oh, shit! <sighs> just Magic Online through my turn. All right, this member's sweet, but god damn it. Fast and loose Friday. Yeah, four stubs is nice. The format's just like, I mean, we're straight up disrespecting the Aether Vile decks. But like, question is, do I stub this? So my opponent's hand is Walking Ballista. If they find a Worm Coil Engine, like I can't win. I think I'm going to stub this. Like, my opponent could just clown me and carn me. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, they, they, they play four Worm Coil engines now. So I'm just going to stub this. Because I can't beat Worm Coil. Can't beat Worm Coil. Yeah, so we played four Aether Vials for a while. Or four stubs. Because, like, the Aether Vial decks are just gone. You know? And, like, we're just straight up disrespecting the Aether Vile decks. But, no, they, just, they had a Worm Coil anyways. Or is this a... Please, Blista. This is a Blista. They're casting Blista. Well, that's nice. Our opponent would be dead AF if we hadn't motoed it here. I'd like to have the record reflect that. Is there any reason to dismember... If I push, I can pay two life. Go to five. My opponent shoots me to two. Ugin kills me. But ideal 13. 
If I go down to five, this is eight, 13. And then Bolt doesn't, like I can't push my own shadow and still kill. If I draw Bolt, then I can do that. So what we're going to do here, there's definitely a chance that my opponent just doesn't, like my opponent sees through this and they don't shoot me. And the reason I did this is because if my opponent goes shoot, shoot, we crack them for 15. So Angler's Lethal on its own. So my opponent plays Worm Coil. They probably block Shadow, and then we can shoot Shadow. We just get browned by um, whatever it is. We get browned by Eugene, but like such is life. This is gone. Because now both our threats are lethal. And we can even kill them through a Worm Coil engine. <clears throat> So, you got Harland. I saw your tweet about that blue-white Delver deck. That guy keeps ripping it up with that deck, though. So, how... No, what we're going to do, they're going to block my shadow, and we're just going to push the shadow. Aw. Wait, I have to take a picture of this. Because I'm going to lose, but, like, my friend, uh, Andy LeClaire has been saying that you should play Buried Ruin in Tron. And because they're saying that this Buried Ruin just killed me. Um, sniffing tool. Oh, my computer's tweaking out. We're back. No, it's Barry Ruin just killed me. It's Barry Ruin actually wrecked me. I think we're back. To be fair, we win this game as paper. What do you mean, Brad? Screenshot in AK. It's too tough. All right. I'm going to overboard this Rise Fall because I want to see if it's good. And Tron plays 18 lands. So that's what we're going to do. Bring these strokes. Cards I know I don't want. I don't want Fatal Push. Uh, I don't want Dismember. Yeah, I don't miss my attack step. Yes. Um, this bounces Worm Coil Engine. That seems pretty bad. Especially when I can, like, keep these cards here. Like, there's a card in here that's worse. <clears throat> like, K-Command can shatter. K-Command's kind of like a worse Worm Coil. A worse Hercules Recall, though, because it costs more mana. I'm just going to bring in the Snapcaster Mage. Like, I can Snap Discard, Snap Stub. The one bolt just turns on my uh, turns my deck on here. You cut Bolt. And you keep the K command. 
I don't know. I, I like going full linear. Like, I just like smacking my head against the desk and playing a huge Death Shadow sometimes. But besides that, the bolt's not good. <clears throat> we'll, we'll go with it, Brad. We have a, you know, we'll go with the celebrity, the celebrity, you know, celeb shot for sideboarding. That's what we'll do. I just don't like, it does not come up often, especially with only one. Um, so with all the prison decks running around, you, you need space, right? And that, that's the hard part. Yeah, dude. Sometimes you just have to like, that's how this deck works. A heater. I'm going to cycle both of these. We, we, we can just cycle Street Wraith willy-nilly because we don't have Serum Visions. I did not get your question. Shoot, shoot my man. I uh, would like to hit a second lance. Let us not fetch. Oh, so good at this game. The only red card in my deck is Colgon's Command and Faithless Looting. I don't really want to hit... I guess I kind of want to hit a third land for my Snapcaster Mage. We're doing this because, again, we don't have... All right, nice. So I'm just going to fetch a Watery Grave if it comes up here. I think I'm just going to do it anyways. Yeah, you can get that out of my face. Like you could fetch steam vents here, but like it just well no, okay. So we have we have rise fall. I forgot about that. So we're gonna get steam vents. And again, like I don't know if rise falls right in this matchup, but my opponent plays 18 lands. So if I just him my opponent, like I'm pretty all about it. Uh Thought Scour. Play Big Papa Gurdad, Gurdangle, Gurdizzle. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <clears throat> okay, what was your plan? Hi, back. How was the URL? Uh, I liked it. I thought it was nice. Like, I think it played one too many basics. Like, I think you want you want three Valks because, like, I hate how basics don't play around Wasteland. As weird as that sounds. So I thought there was one too many basics in the deck. It was better than I thought it was. I'm not really sure it's better than Grixis Delver. But. I don't know. I don't think you want two. Primary the worst play. I'd rather have. Delver. Yep. But he's a dingus sometimes. <laughs> but he's our dingus. And that's what we care about. Okay, so what am I looking for? Is there a reason that I mean I'm definitely slight of I mean I should just attack. Like I'm gonna sleight of hand for a discard spell or a death shadow. I think that's what we're looking for. What do my opponent they just like didn't do anything? Alright, this stroke is is the stroke better than the land? It probably is, as sad as that sounds, because we already have another cantrip that could hit us a land, and the Disdainful Stroke hits Worm Coil Engine, which bodies um, Gurmag. So I'm just going to take this Stroke, and I could just Thought Scour my main phase to hit a land. And then play my land. Is that Mopey? I don't have anything else I can do. Like, my opponent's not going to play around. Like, they don't have the option to play around things because I'm putting so much pressure on them. Yeah, I'm just going to hit my land. I don't know. Maybe I, uh, maybe I just, like, completely toss this because I wanted this and I wanted a land drop. But I wanted to take both my cards. If I could just have, like, one blue draw, too, that would be sweet. All right, there's your O-Stone that I couldn't do anything about. We're getting browned by getting that 
Steam Vance turn two. For turn one, I guess. So what do I do here? I think I just pass. Because if my opponent doesn't have it, they're dead. If they do have it and I play a Shadow, I'm going to feel like a doofus. If they have like a Thought Knots here, I want to be able to stroke it. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. God, dude, I am so smart and thin. Should I upkeep Battle Rage, my angler? <clears throat> yeah, we got it. Rah. <sighs> Not with my attack history. <laughs> I am one for one with game winning attacks. Or 0 for 1. My opponent didn't make me do it this time, so it doesn't help my batting average. Um, I'm going to go this is way too slow on the draw. I'm going to bolt myself. The rise falls are also kind of slow on the draw, but I'm just going to leave them in for science. I hate this hand. I literally hate hands like this. I'm going to mulligan. My opponent mulliganed. Like, I have no threat. I have no second land. And I have a bunch of wheel spinning. And I've already mulliganed to six. I hate hands like that. Heater. I'm going to him my opponent after they mulligan. The five. Yes. Yeah, I just hate hands like that. Because, like, now nah, we don't want this shit. <clears throat> so what am I looking for here? I'm looking for a threat. Found a threat. They put a card on top. They put a card on top. They put a land on top. What would they keep on top? A land? Like... I put up most of four. How do I not just like lose this game like an idiot? Like I could just because I have one, two, three, four in my great. Like if I thought scour my opponent, then um, if we thought scour my opponent, if we see what that top card is, the bobble. I still have four cards in my graveyard. So if I draw a fetch land off the Bobble or the Street Wraith, I can still play Gurmag Angler on turn two. Well, all I need is a Bobble. All I need is a fetch land, Street Wraith, or a Bobble. So I've got three, five, nine. I have three, five plus nine is... I have 14 draws that still let me play Gurmag Angler on two. I'm just saying. But I probably can beat a mold of four anyways. Would have got it. I should just take this. <clears throat> Hang on. One, two, three, four. I can still play my Gurmag Angler. On two if I thought scoured them. If I get rid of the card they kept on top. Because one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, dude, I'm totally going to Thought Scour my opponent. Did I mess up? No. Oh, they had it. They put a relic. No, no, this all went so wrong. No, they're gonna let me do it. They have a relic. No, no. 
All right, hang on. I'm going to see if they... All right, well, now I'm just going to hem them. Yeah. Come on. Oh, we got two cards. Oh, we just hemmed our opponent. Yes. This is all I care about. <clears throat> oh, man. We played an O-Stone. All right, so now I'm going to loot. Because they're playing off the top. So I'm just going to loot into a land. And then I'm going to Thought Scour myself and play Gurmai Angler. And we're just going to kill them before they hit their Tron land. Well, they hit Tron. They had to top deck the land or the O-Stone to get me. Okay, so that doesn't really matter. Do I even have to loot? Yeah, I do. All right, well, this isn't going to do anything. This isn't going to do anything. My opponent doesn't play a land next turn. I'll probably just play Death Shadow. If they play a land, I'll probably flashback looting. Nice. Nice. Now I'm definitely going to play Death Shadow. I'm going to bolt my own face. <clears throat> My disdainful stroke does thought not seer. Um, if I flashback looting, I have draws that kill my opponent. So, let's say I have a dismember, but like whatever. They have dismember, they have dismember. Because if I go like Street Wraith fetch land, fetch land thought sees, they're dead. So, let us loot. Okay. Well, that's stupid. Well, I get two looks at it now. Yeah, this was this was like super aggressive. Because if they just go like Tron Land into like Big Stupid, then I lose both my creatures. So I'm just gonna attack. Yeah, this was this was dumb from the home team here. So Yeah, I could get, like, Worm Coiled. Now that I made this line, I probably should have just, like, done it. But do I want to fetch Shock? Because if I fetch Shock and I go to 5, if they find a Tron piece, they plant, they've got 2, 4, 6, 10, which means Walking Ballista kills me. Yeah, I think we're just going to sit tight. We're going to 10 them. Yeah, we're just going to 10 them. Like, it kind of feels bad, but... Like, because if they play, like, Ulamog, or they play Worm, uh, whatever the dumb card is, they just wipe our board. They're not going to play anything. They're just going to wipe our board. All right. We got a little fast and loose there towards the end, but it doesn't matter. We won. All right, here we go. For the 3-2. Yeah. So I was worried about them just hitting like Eugene or well no, I shouldn't have worried about them hitting any eight mana card, eight mana plus card. Well if I tap out, yes. Because if I didn't tap out, they would have just gone land O stone. If I if I don't if I don't tap out, they go land O stone. If I tap out, then they just go, like, 
land Ulama or land Ugin or land Walking Ballista and kill me. It doesn't really matter. Like, I'm pretty dead. I probably should have just tapped out so they'd have gone land. They would have just blown up my board. And then I could have hit like Snapcaster Cake Man. You're right, Brad. Ooh. This is Fast and Loose Friday. We're on the draw with two street rates. Ready? We're gonna hypo geometric this this right now, and then we're gonna we're gonna go with, because it's fast and loose Friday. We're gonna go with what it tells us. Hypo geometric distribution. So we need to see ten cards. Uh, hypo geometric distribution calculator. Because we're feeling dangerous. All right, we've got 10 hits. And we have three looks at it. Population size is 60. We have 17 successes. Our, no, numbers of success, yes. Sample size will be 10. Number will be 17. Error, cannot do it. 17, sample size, 1. Excuse me, 3. Can't figure this out. All right, we're going to mulligan because I can't figure it out. No math, only courage. All right, no math, only courage. <clears throat> so, yeah, we only played two snaps. Because the format's just so fast. And like, I think every I think I board I usually board out a Snapcaster Mage against um Stomping Ground strategy. So we're probably playing Escape Shift. So we can like miss a land drop and probably still have a good Oh man, they didn't even give me a sweat. Alright, we're gonna cycle these to get some information. Wow, dude, it wasn't even been close. Um I don't really want land number three. Uh, I'm gonna thought seize my opponent just in case. I'm gonna, I mean, Inquisition just in case they're like some zoo deck. I don't really want to get clowned. Oh. Hmm. Oh. All right. I'm gonna take this Blood Moon. If it's 50 50, I'm, I'm feeling like a 50 50 kind of night. I'm just going to play this Gurmag Angler. Can we? One, two. One, two. So we can just play Gurmag Angler and Thoughtseize, which is kind of nice. The problem is, I take a shitload of damage and I don't have a shadow. We know my opponent's hand. But, like, we have a sleight of hand, too. One, two, yeah, I'm just gonna like. God, we just can't. We're we're just like. I'm so goddamn good at this game. <laughs> it is just wild. Alright, we'll take one of these. Uh which one deals this damage? I probably should take this one so they can't take my in case they blood moon me later in the game. Yeah. Nope, we're not going to cast that. God, keeps a no lander, double street wraith, hits three lands. I'm going to keep this uh, street wraith just because, like, we don't actually have a death shadow. We might slight into a death shadow, but... <clears throat> All right, sure, dude. Oh, come on. God damn it. My opponent drew good cards. I'm glad we didn't cycle. I don't really want to have a seven to do that. I'm going to look for a death shadow. What does that do? 
So if I dismember this, now I kind of wish I didn't hadn't taken so much life. So if I dismember this thing, I kind of have to dismember this this stupid thing. If I go fetch nine, <clears throat> pay two life seven, attack. My opponent attacks me to five. They probably don't block. And then they put me to seven. I go to seven. They attack me, put me to three. There's not really a good way out of this besides finding a death shadow. This game looks so promising. We had so much like so much fun in this game. We're just like not caring at all. I mean, we're just gonna take this dismember. We're gonna take this dismember and just like miserably lose this race. I can't let him untap this Pia. So let's just attack. We're going to kill this Pia, and then we're just going to, like, hope we figure it out. That's the game plan on Fast and Loose Friday. <clears throat> so we get, like, not a lot of draw steps. Phil. Where's Philly? I gotta go find my dog. Hang on. Philly boy. Hey, Phil. Where are you? Where are you? Come here, Phil. Come on. No, I gotta, I gotta get with you. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. No, I can't. You gotta be able to... I gotta be able to see you, buddy. As, as bad as that sounds. Do you wanna say hi to Twitch chat? Alright, we're gonna go for another ride, Twitch chat. Phil. Philly boy. Pound it. Pound it. Good boy. I'm going to have to get a new camera after he licks it so many times. Okay. Thoughts, Gower. Might as well start by attacking. So my opponent drew a spell because they didn't play their land. All right, let's draw Death Shadow. Yeah, we're just dead because we can't kill both of these. That mom pa was a beating. All right. Stub, stub, stub. I have no idea how to sideboard against this deck. Like, these are probably fine because they play a lot of four drops. Like they play Chandra, sometimes they play Huntmaster. Blood Ray Elf, this isn't good against Blood Ray Elf, though. Um, I don't think my Snapcasters are very good. I don't really want to play that kind of game. And they're probably going to be, like, knee-deep in Relics. This Bolt's probably not good. This Collector Brutality is probably good on the play, but not on the draw. And there's a chance that, like, now that my deck is focused, I don't want this Faith of Looting, because I don't want to go, like, discarding a non-dead card as soon as my deck's all good is probably not what I want to do. Yeah. I'm going to board this out on the draw. But, like, the fact that I can go, like, hit an elf, smoke that. <laughs> yes. I don't really want another removal spell, though. Because like, I don't want to cut anything. For the memes, we could just like get rid of a fatal push to have a lightning bolt just to say that we did bolt the bird.
I don't really have anything I want to cut. Like, I cut a Gurmag Angler because they're probably going to be knee deep in relics. So, maybe that's correct. Maybe on the draw, but I'm going to just submit. <clears throat> I really appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. It's been a lot of fun. You all should like, if you like what you see, you want to see more of it, you should go to my YouTube channel and you should subscribe there because it's free and I'm only like 15 people away from being able to apply to be monetized. Like I think, how many, how many, how many YouTube subscribers do I have? We have gotten one or two during the stream. The YouTube is linked below. I would like to play first, yes. My channel. Uh, this hand is medium, but I'm going to keep it. We have 981. So you could be number 982. And three. Just cycle this. Brutality. It's not bad. It's like, it's like exactly when we want it. Wow, there's so many cards we can't beat. I think I'm just going to take Mom and Pop, Brutality this, and then Stub this. That's the game plan. So that's all linked below. You could be number 982. And that would be much appreciated. All right, we got Gerdad. So we played Stomping Ground. So we're looking for a shadow or a discard spell here. All right, we found one of those. The Thoughtseize bug. I would like to draw a land. Couldn't do it. You couldn't do it for me. Do I want to escalate? Do I want all these cards? What's the chances my opponent drew a stone rain? They draw a stone rain. Hey, Phil. You gotta stay, bud. You gotta stay in the area. I have to watch you. Are you gonna need this dismember to win the game? Probably not. I'm just gonna I'm gonna check my opponent's hand out. I do that right. I'm all paranoid after my Tron misclick. We beat Tron 3-0. It's pretty wild. I don't really want to get stone rained. Like they have they got one draw step, but Alright, we missed. They have a blood ray elf though, which is kind of suck, which kind of sucks. But now we can play Angler for one mana and have Stubborn Denial up. They're probably just going to jam their Elf, but we can stub like a Blood Moon if it comes off the Elf. And then we can Disdainful Stroke the Chandra. If that's what it comes to. Okay, got your elf. Play the mountain. Yeah, we're just gonna stop this. Hold off the three two. Yep, we're just gonna pass. My opponent's gonna blood boom me. Then we're gonna get wrecked. No. Uh, just pass. 
Not a lot we can do. And kind of a tough, tough fifth match. Yep, there's the Chandra. One and only peed. Pew to pee? I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't get it. Kitchen things. Thank God they didn't put that on the stat. I'm going to attack this Chandra. Maybe I should have attacked my opponent last turn. Tough to say. <clears throat> oh. I mean, I I've heard some kind of bad things about that guy. But, like, if the best, if the largest YouTuber in... If the largest YouTuber in the world, all right, I yield. I'm just like super dead because I have to, I have to like fetch. Yeah. All right, I yield. Yeah, like the problem is, is like no matter what you think about the guy, okay, if. If the number one YouTuber in the world is playing Magic, it's good for Magic. Good press, bad press, whatever. Like, it's just good for the game. So, I think this deck's good. I didn't play super well tonight. Like, I was a little out of it. Like, I, I could have won my game against Jund. I could have won my game against Were. I couldn't have won that match. Um, but, I think I would... I ask everyone here in this chat to do me a favor. One of my really good friends is uh, streaming some poker at the moment. So I ask you all to go over to his channel. That's who we're going to raid. Okay. And just give him some love. He's one of my best friends. Helped me play some Magic growing up. Y'all should check him out. He's a very good poker player. I don't know if that's exactly what you all are into. But I appreciate it. I hope you all go over there. Please give him some support. He is one of my best friends. I will see you all next time and have a great rest of your night.